The next kind, there might be a few more, but still it's pretty straightforward. And this is most likely new to you guys, but they started off pretty easy. All right, what they are going to give you is a set of problems, or a set of inputs and outputs, and ask you to find a pattern that exists in these. Okay, the process for finding this pattern is, uh, again, pretty straightforward. And all of the examples that you're going to be given in this are uh, linear patterns. Anybody, you guys have heard the term linear, right? Do you guys know what that means? What a linear equation or a pattern that's linear means is that if your x's or inputs increase at consistent intervals, so in this case, every one, right? So one, then two, then three the y's are going to increase also at a consistent interval. The rate of change is the same. Okay? So it has a consistent rate of change or, or a consistent slope. So what you would do here is you find the change in outputs. Okay, so how do these outputs change? Every, between every two y's it increases by what in this case? Each one is three. Okay, so if you find that the outputs increase by the same value, that is your rate of change. And this is your slope or your M value. And once you find this, so right now the equation that we can create is Y is equal to three X. So all we need to do here is find the B value, and that's found by finding the value of Y, your, your output, when your input or X value is zero. This is your Y intercept, or in the case of what we're looking at, the B value. And so we're using this form Y equals MX plus B, the, the linear equation, standard form or slope intercept form. Okay, and so what is our y value when x is zero? Zero. And so this is our equation. We can simplify it sim just to 3x. Never write a plus zero. Okay, don't write multiplicate like a coefficient of positive one. If you have a coefficient of negative one, don't write negative one x, just write negative x. Right, I want you to kind of use the same idea and see if uh, you can find the following patterns. All right, can you find the equation that models this information, please? Do all the y's change by the same amount? Each, each incremental y changes by 4. So there's your rate of change. So you're looking at y equals 4x, and then it's plus or minus. What is our y-intercept? 1. It's the value of y when x is 0. And so we have our answer. All right, one, one last one, just to make sure that It'll involve some negatives, so there's no confusion. All right, so uh, look to see if you can create the equation that models this information, please.
right? What's the incremental change in the y's? Each one is negative 2. Since those are all the same, that's your rate of change. So y equals negative 2x, and then what was the y-intercept? Plus 0, which you don't need to write, so you just leave it as y equals negative 2x. That is your equation. 